Hello everyone, I'm Rita Carone, Resale Consultant for Brixis. Welcome to this breakout session on the new KML import and export capability in BricsCAD V25.2. Today, we'll import a land perimeter, overlay a design project, export the area for a solar plant, and for the grand finale, bring into Google Earth. But before we jump in, let's talk about why KML files are so important. Unlike traditional CAD formats, KML is widely used behind engineering and design circles. Allows no CAD users, such project managers, environmental analysts, and local authorities to easily view and interact with geographic data in applications like Google Earth. It's an ideal format for site recognition, project validation, and collaboration between CAD and non-CAD professionals. In short, KML bridges the gap between technical design and real-world visualization. Let's begin by importing the perimeter of the land. This KML file contains geospatial data defining the boundary of the site where the project will take place. Using the import command, we select our KML file and, like magic, the land perimeter appears. No smokes, no mirror, just BricsCAD doing its thing. If importing the land perimeter is all you need, then congratulations, you're done. You can stop right here, save your file and move on with your day. But in our case, we are taking it further. Next. We overlay the design project onto the imported land boundary. BricsCAD seamlessly blends CAD and geospatial data, which means no more squinting and mismatched layers or wondering why things don't line up. With the design in place, we now define and export the specific area where the solar plant will be installed. Using BricsCAD selection tool, we isolate the relevant section and export it as a KML file so it's ready for further processing in whatever other software the next person in the workflow prefers. And just to clarify, you don't have to start with an imported KML file to do this. You can export any geometry you've drawn in BricsCAD, whether it's a design you created from scratch or modification you made to existing data. We now open Google Earth and import the KML file to visualize our exported data in a real-world context. By selecting the KML file, we can overlay the project location within Google Earth satellite imagery, allowing for further analysis and presentation. And just like that, we successfully imported a land perimeter, overlaid the design project, exported the solar plant area, and visualized it all in Google Earth. BricsCAD v25.2 enhanced KML support means you can spend less time wrangling file formats and more time actually designing. Plus, KML makes it easy to share and visualize site data with the non-CAD users, ensuring everyone stays on the same page. Thank you for joining this session. Now go forth and import export with confidence. And don't forget to check out the other breakout sessions for BricsCAD V25.2, where we dive into even more exciting new features to enhance your workflow.